Hello Valhemis, I'm going to show you how to build a dock. I think most people are just having trouble putting the foundations in the water. I'm going to show you the method that I use to put foundations in the water. It kind of involves building two docks, but anyways, I'll show you. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to build a wood floor. And you're going to want to build it in the water just a little bit. Just kind of the edge of the water, but enough that you won't go underwater. Okay, so I'm going to do it right about here. And we're just going to snap three or four pieces into place. Also, I'll show you right now a nice method how to uh, how to uh, sh put your wood floors a little further. Um, so, like, if you're having trouble snapping it in right here like I am now, you just put another piece on top, and then it snaps into the bottom actually very easily after that. So then you get rid of the pieces on top, and then boom, they're snapped in, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that again. We're going to go out one more, then snap it in. Okay, so we're out three now. So now we're going to start worrying about our supports. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a 45 degree beam right here. And we're going to put it right where we want our dock to start. I want my dock to start there. So we're going to put it there. All right. Then we're going to go get some core wood. You can also use wood beams, but core wood is easier for spacing in my opinion. So we're going to get a log beam and we're going to put it here and here. Okay. And then don't worry about the height of all this. I'll show you later about how to... Uh, improve the height or like put it into a proper dock height all right so now we're going to get the wood beam and we're going to snap that in next now this is a little tricky part it's actually a lot harder to do this closer to the coast than it is when you're uh in the uh deeper in the water because you got to get underneath it and once you get underneath it it snaps perfectly in place sometimes you can use the water you can put in the water but sometimes you also go underneath like this so there you go i got it there oh flooring again underneath so you're going to go want to go one length away from the wood so now you can go ahead and add your core wood bump bump then the top piece i mean the piece for the water and then you kind of snap that in see how i'm pointing at the water you snap it in there all right and sometimes it's not going to fit but luckily that one fit but you might have to raise the ground sometimes okay now we're going to go one more we're going even further do to do Underneath, underneath, break, break, on top, on top, underneath, underneath, break, break, core wood, there, there, beam, okay, and it snaps in nice. Sometimes you're going to have to raise the land. I'm going to show you, even though I don't have to do it in this spot, I'm going to show you. We're going to get the hoe, and then we're going to right click. And then we're going to click raise ground and we're just going to click once or twice. That's it. Once or twice. You're going to do it once or twice and then double check and see how it looks. All right. That's perfectly fine. That fits nice. We're going to do one more section out and then I'll show you how to finish the dock. All right. I think we've gone far enough out. And I want you to keep in mind this method does work for bridges too. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this piece here and uh, this piece here and this piece here. Okay, we're going to remove all the, the beginning of the bridge because we're going to make a new beginning. Okay, so now we're going to do a 26 degree angle instead. So it's not so high up. Put it in the exact same spot. Okay, yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and snap the flooring to the side of that. So the bridge is just a little bit higher, right? A little bit higher. Then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to use our fake bridge to just go across here. All right, so we got our dock all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and remove these side beams. They're not doing anything. All right. And that's how you really build the dock. You can make this thing go as far as you want. It's it's It really doesn't matter. You can make the biggest dock as you want doing this. And it looks cool. I like it. I think it looks fine. If this video helped you, please like it. And don't subscribe to me.